Welcome to the two-minute video about the benefits of Bad Bank's enhanced pre-reconciled QuickBooks files. As we have already discussed, Bad Bank gives you a way to see inside your QuickBooks upload files before you upload them. You do this by opening up the top-level CSV file in the output folder, not the CSV in the QB subfolder. That's for direct upload to QuickBooks. In this top-level CSV, you can see the exact transactions that have been extracted by Bad Bank and put inside the QuickBooks upload files. The five major benefits of the Bad Bank generated QBO file can be seen in this top-level CSV. The first benefit is that each transaction has a truly unique FIT ID number, which is a Bad Bank generated hash, so that means that a transaction cannot be duplicated in a QuickBooks upload. The second unique benefit is these square bracketed entries showing that Bad Bank has already reconciled the statement by finding the beginning and ending balance and all transactions in between. If there is a reconciliation error here, you can easily see what it is. More often than not, it is an elusive bank fee. When you upload your Bad Bank QBO or CSV file into QuickBooks Desktop or QuickBooks Online, you will not see these square bracketed $0 reconciliation entries in QuickBooks, but you can always see them here in the top level CSV that Bad Bank generates for you. The third benefit of Bad Bank is these cleaned up name fields, of course. The fourth benefit is that Bad Bank identifies transfers between accounts in a square bracketed comment that looks like this, making it easier for you to make sure money is flowing to and from the correct accounts and making it easier to sort on similar transactions in Excel. By viewing the Bad Bank CSV, you can see the value of Bad Bank's enhanced pre-reconciled QBO and CSV upload files, which don't allow duplications. And because they are pre-reconciled, don't lose transactions either. Finally, the fifth major benefit of Bad Bank is that we pull out check numbers, and if you use Bad Bank's optional directive files, you can assign names to checks prior to uploading transactions into QuickBooks. See the directive files videos for more. Finally, remember that if a statement has no transactions, Bad Bank will not create a QBO output file. Continue to intro to the optional directive file for renaming.